more information about the lady that killed her son. Let's get into it. We get a lot of cars left here, so we probably wouldn't have noticed it for a couple days. Police say this is surveillance video of 27 year old Janet Garcia showing up at this Ridgefield tap house, parking her car Wednesday. At the same time, police outside Seattle were already looking for her four year old son. Ariel Garcia. We just couldn't figure out why she left it here. Court documents show Janet told Clark County deputies she and her son were staying with a friend in Everett. However, police in Everett say that friend told them she came home to find blood on her floor and the two nowhere to be found. During the interview, investigators tell us Janet said the blood came from her son's head after he fell out of bed and she left to take him to the hospital, which she claimed was taking too long. So she dropped him off at an unknown friend's house in Seattle. That's where authorities say she claimed she had left her car. But according to this bartender, that's not where it was found. It was here in Ridgefield. She just parked and then walked up north on 10th, just left it there. We're assuming she must have known someone or someone picked her up in the area because we are really off the beaten path just to randomly choose our parking lot. Deputies would get a call from this rehabilitation center a half mile down the road. A place staff members say she knew well as she had come seeking treatment for alcohol related issues in the past. She was just calm, quiet, you know, just needed nothing out of the normal. Daniel, who works here, says while she was calm, she did have mood swings. And when she showed up this time around, they were on high alert because Janet's mother had called them concerned about her grandson, Ariel. And so that's when I initially called 911 and told her that, 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 that she was here. Daniel says she seemed as calm as ever as he waited for police. Your son's missing, there's blood, I mean, and you're just out here, you know, like, like nothing happened. It was just, it was not normal. Police would arrive and question the 27 year old, later arresting her, saying she provided false statements to officers. Just before six o'clock Thursday night, police found Ariel Garcia's body along I-5 in Pierce County not far from Tacoma. Everett police have charged Janet with murder and assault of a child. A child Daniel says he had the pleasure to know. If it doesn't hit you in the heart, I, there's something wrong with you. All kids are innocent. So now we're seeing video. This lady parked into a business. When she parked, she came out the car and just walk along the side of the road as if nothing happened. There is a place close by where she parked the car where she stayed before because I believe it was a retreat for people who have alcohol issues. That facility stated she wasn't welcome. She didn't call them. She wasn't invited to come to the facility, but she went either way. While she was there, she was speaking to everyone as if she didn't just kill her son and drive his body in the car and parked it in a business parking lot. This lady is sick. Let's hold her for the rest of her life in that one room cell. Let's get her to, to really think about what she really did. Let me know what you guys think.